Hi. Hi. Um, first question would be um, if you could tell us about the history of bridge and chess and maybe all about how it started um, to deal with the EUSA mind sports all together. Okay. For bridge, I can tell you we started in 1990 with a championship for students in the capitals of Europe. So Lisboa, Weimar, Antwerp, Rotterdam. And in 2000, there was a World Bridge uh, Olympiad in Maastricht, in the Netherlands. And uh, we had there the first unofficial world student championship. And they came from the FISU watching how the start tournament was running. And uh, after that, they were very excited about uh, they saw that. And in 2002, it was the first time that there was an official FISU World Student Championship. So for FISU, it started in 2002. And, for, um, and after that, we had a uh, lot of contact also with EUSA and tried to come in in EUSA with Bridge. And finally, uh, in 2009, it was the first time that there was an official EUSA European Championship. So 2002, FISU, 2009, EUSA. But we started already in 1990 with students. Yes, okay. And how about chess? Chess has long history, as you know uh, well. And uh, we, I, we started uh, after the bridge, I think. <laughs> and um, the biggest event was in Yerevan. Uh, it was uh, with OISA organized chess uh, university uh, chess championship. Um, and it was. Uh, had big success, and uh, we continue working in this uh, in this direction. So it will be next edition or here in Budapest. It's so in a very nice touristic city, and uh, in, there are a lot of chess players from here, native from here, for example, <laughs> Judith Polgar. Yes. So uh, we invite all players to come here. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to ask you about um, Budapest. Have you ever been here and why you think it's a good idea to have, to have the championships here this summer? My first time I was in Budapest in 1982 or three at that time with my family, with my children. It was at the time it was uh, Hungarian was uh, communistic. <laughs> when I came at ball, they came with mirrors under my car <laughs> watching and so on and we came here. It was uh, yeah, a nice old city. Mm -hmm. uh, we were excited about that, and um, I promised I come back once, so oh, I am back are? again. <laughs> and I think it is a very good idea to have the championship in in Budapest because of uh, several reasons. One of the most important reasons is uh, Budapest is a very beautiful city for students. Yes. It is uh, near the center of Europe, so it is a good connection to the to the whole uh, environment in Europe, and it's. Uh, a lovely city. Mm -hmm. So we yes. enjoy life. Okay, thank you. Do you have anything? For me, I well, my first visit was not not in Budapest, but in Kecskemét. Okay. Uh, Ninety two, I was reached uh, first normal international master. So it's a good date for me. After that, I was I was several times here, uh, especially when I go to the Balkan countries or uh, to Vienna. On the way, I had. Usually I stop here, mm -hmm. and uh, of course Budapest is the uh, old capital of Europe. Yes, yes. All right, um, my other question is, um, do you know anything about the University of Physical Education here in Budapest? Have you heard anything of it before, or your first time here? I met uh, Mr. Tamas in Svenjirola uh, last year for the first time. <coughs> Uh, it was the first time that I heard about the university here and he was very uh, enthusiastic about uh, having a tournament here in, uh, in Budapest. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was for me the first time. Right. And uh, what I saw till now uh, is very, uh, yeah, very beautiful. And the, 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 the whole situation, the changes to coming the next two years, it uh, will be one of the modernest uh, universities of Europe, I think, if you see that. It's very mm -hmm. beautiful. I hear a little bit about uh, sports university because there are a lot of champions from here. I think, uh, for uh, for example, this boxing champion uh, Kovac, yes, I, I know, because I'm following a little bit this kinds of sports. <coughs> mm -hmm. So it's, uh, 
I know I hear a little bit about, but of course we will, we will do a lot of uh, now. I think we will always develop with our edition, our championship uh, with our championship with this. Uh, we will promote university. Mm -hmm, thank you. And my last question is, um, what do you think? Why are mind sports important all in all together? Mind sport is very important for, uh, in one word or two words, mind sport is fitness for the mind. Yeah. It's not alone only in physical uh, to be in good uh, shape, but also in your brain, in your mind. And uh, the most important thing is you can do it at a high age. When you play bridge or chess, you can mm -hmm. do it till the end of your life. And you met other people and you are busy with your mind. And I think that's the most important reason why you have to play bridge or to play chess. I agree with my colleague, chess and bridge and this. Mind games, uh, for example, uh, they, they help, especially for young, uh, to, to be concentrated, to, to calculate. As in, in the real life, your steps uh, to develop your memory, and, uh, character, to build your character, and a lot of things. So I suggest to play mind games. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much. And that's all the questions I had for today. Good. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>